Okay, color management simply applies a color transform operation on the Y and Z axis whenever you control the uh, gamma color wheel and move it five degrees to the east. Just kidding. Uh, I'm sure this is how you feel every time you watch a video about color management, but I promise you, today you will understand color management and resolve. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And DaVinci Resolve 17 simplified color management a lot. It used to be more complicated, and now with 17, it's easier. Let's take a look on how to use it. Before we start, a quick reminder. Uh, Tomorrow is the last day in our Black Friday sale for this year where you can get 85% discount on our, our Ultimate DaVinci Resolve course bundle. It also includes a lot of gifts like the footage library with 500 clips and our new title packs. It's, it's basically you get 85% on our biggest bundle. So uh, just a reminder. First of all, what is color management? To understand color management, just think of this scenario. You have a scene, for example, uh, you're shooting like uh, some scene, I'm not sure, someone is making coffee, and uh, you're using three different cameras. However, these cameras are different models and maybe different manufacturers. Like one camera is a Sony, the other camera might be a Canon, then there might be some like black magic camera there. The problem is whenever you have a scene and you point two different cameras at the same scene and set them both to the same exact settings, they will produce slightly different colors, even though all the settings are the same and the white balance is correct. Here's the deal. Camera manufacturers have slightly different colors on each camera, which gets us back to the same problem, where if we film the same scene with multiple cameras, we will get different results from each camera. So what's color management? You can simply think of color management as a helper, someone who is helping you to color correct your footage. So it's a color correction tool. It's not a color grading tool, it's a color correction tool. So just think of color management as someone who is helping you. So he's a helper, like imagine a colorist sitting next to you, who happens to be very familiar with the colors coming from each camera. And this person who is very smart and helping you uh, will uh, ask you some questions. He will first ask you where, who is going to watch the footage where we're actually editing at the moment or we're coloring, like who's going to be watching this footage and what devices are they going to be watching it on? So for example, you go, you know what, they're going to be watching it on the internet. So this person now will know how to modify the colors of, of the cameras in order to make them all look the same when you're editing for the web. And this will make your life much easier because now all the cameras will theoretically at least look the same. This, the starting point when you start to color correct or color grade will look the same from all the cameras. So color management simply makes sure that all the cameras look the same when you start uh, color correcting and, and grading them. And that's simply all there is to it. This person sitting next to you, now you will tell him, okay, so this file is coming from a Canon R5, for example. So he's very experienced. He knows exactly how the colors of R5 look and he knows what are you delivering to who you're delivering for the web. So he goes and color correct the R5 to look good for the web. Then you're like, okay, then you tell him this other clip is coming from an A7S, for example, A7S III Sony. And that's where he goes, okay, I totally understand that. Again, he will uh, change the colors of the Sony file uh, to match the web delivery format. And now you have a very good starting point. So all the cameras started with different colors and now they all look more similar. It cannot be 100% similar, but they look way more similar to each other than the starting point. Now, this is all great in theory. Let's take a look on how to implement this in Resolve 17. So here's my Resolve file. I'll simply enable color management by simply clicking on settings here. And inside settings, we have a special tab for color management. I'll click it. Here are the color management settings. And what's new here is that now things are very simple. I'm simply going to open the color science tab here and select DaVinci YRGB color managed. Make sure that the automatic color management button is clicked. And then I'll open the next drop down menu. And here I have two options only SDR, standard dynamic range, and HDR for high dynamic range. So I'll simply select SDR. Uh, if you want it to deliver in HDR or work in HDR, you know exactly what to select here. But for most people, you will be selecting SDR. And then I'll simply hit save. And that's all there is to it. We just enabled color management now in this 
project. Now let's take a look at the files we have. So I have this file. So the first file is coming from a Canon C7. The next one is from a Canon R5. Notice how the colors are different between these two files. Then this is the Ursa 12K. Then we have a Sony A7S III. And finally a C500 file. Notice how the colors look slightly different between all these files. Even though the white balance was correct and all the other settings were correct, still the colors that are coming from each camera are different because each camera interpreted the colors in a different way. So how do you match them? Notice something very important. Once we enable color management. The main difference we have in the interface is that when I right click on a clip, now I have a new menu added that is called input color space. So what does that mean? Well, this is simply the helper who is helping you to color correct, asking you what camera is this footage coming from? It's as simple as that. This is where you tell the person you're working with what kind of camera this is. So let's start applying color management. I'll right click on this clip, go to input color space and select Canon Cinema Gamma Lock 3. Notice how the image looks much better now. What happened here is that the guy who's helping us simply color corrected this footage because they know exactly what are we delivering and what camera this is and the colors look much better without losing any information. Next, this is the A7S 3 I'll right click, go to input color space, scroll down, this Gamma 3 Cine is Lock 3 and again, notice that the image was color corrected very fast. Uh, the color temperature seems to be a bit different here, but now they're much closer to each other. Next, let's move to the Ursa 12K, right click, and note that we don't have the input color space option here. Why is that? Why does the Ursa 12K does not have that option? Well, when you film in RAW, what happens is that RAW contains a lot of information about the camera and the sensor. Uh, you know, when, when when the raw file was created. So Resolve is very smart. It can simply look at the files metadata and go, you know what, this is an Ursa 12K and this is the particular color science that was used for this shot and it just color corrects everything automatically. So when you're dealing with raw files, you will not have this menu because Resolve have all the information. However, if you're filming compressed like here, like the R5, I can simply right click, go to input color space, and again, select the appropriate option. Again, the C70 Canon Log 3. So notice that the colors don't match at the moment. What is happening? Well, what happened here is that we transformed the colors from whatever each camera filmed into this, uh, into a unified color space that will make it much easier for us to work. However, you always hear this thing. It's much easier for us to work. It's easier to, what does that even mean? <laughs> what does easier to work mean? Let's take a look at these shots. And let's say that I wanted to apply a contrast adjustment. So I'll simply increase the contrast here and then I'll move to this shot and I want to uh, increase the contrast with the same amount. So I increase the contrast to 1.2, for example, let's increase the contrast to 1.2 here. And notice that I roughly have the same amount of contrast in both cases. Maybe I just need to make one of them a bit warmer, for example. So let's just take this one to the right. So notice that now it was much easier for me to get these uh, two images to look more similar to each other with a simple contrast adjustment. However, if I did not apply the uh, color management, I can still make the both images look uh, very similar, of course, but it will take much more work because I have to adjust and dial the contrast to each camera color profile. Um, which would have taken much more time. However, things are much easier now. Then let's come here to the Ursa. Maybe we can just add just a little bit of contrast again. Come here, add contrast, maybe move this to the right a bit. And finally here, maybe I'll just reduce the offset, increase the contrast, move it to the right a bit here, increase saturation. And notice that I managed to get them at least much closer to each other than they were because each camera uh, have this scene that was filmed. You know, one camera maybe had a different amount of light. The other one was coming from a different angle and the colors look different, slightly different from that angle. Maybe one of them had lens flare. So the, each one of these shots have its unique characteristics. However, as a starting point, this made our work much easier and simpler when we try to match all these cameras together. So color management is simply making sure that if you have multiple cameras with different color profiles uh, match, 
you know, at least match when it comes to in terms of color space. And this will make your life much easier when you try to match these cameras. So uh, I hope you like this. If you like it, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.